What is going on, all you beautiful people? Thanks for joining me for yet another video. We are clearly not in the studio. I'm testing out a new way of filming these videos. So we are out and about. I'm actually out at Taylor's. We are filming some awesome content. But before I ran out the door, this came in. This is a new slip joint by Jack Wolf Knives. It's actually something new and special. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for coming out right when I was doing that. Appreciate it, dude. Shh. Anyways, it's a new slip joint by Jack Wolf Knives. Really exciting stuff. And it got me thinking, like, why should you carry a slip joint? And I wanted to ask some of my friends why. Because I feel like there's a specific purpose as to why you should own one of these and keep it in your pocket all the time. So, before we dive into the specs of the newest release, I'm going to ask that guy right there why he should carry a slip joint. Or why he does carry a slip joint. Hey, Taylor, do you mind doing my intro for me? Because I kind of messed it up. Welcome back, everybody. Is that how you do it? Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty accurate. So one of the biggest reasons that a slip joint comes in handy is because here at the studio, we have like plastic knives and forks and I normally just chew through them. Um, so, so having a slip joint helps cut up, cut up the chicken, right? And like, you don't have to use your, your folding knife or anything like that, that you maybe cut through boxes. So this becomes like a dedicated food knife um, do you carry a slip joint, Taylor? No, I, I just carry a fixed blade because I'm not a pansy. He's been waiting for that the whole, <laughs> for the whole video. This is in my pocket today, the Kingpin from Notorious EDC. But this is the main reason I carry one is food prep. And if I have to hand a knife to somebody, sometimes people are a little taken aback by something that kind of flies open. So it just depends on like the environment you're in. I don't hand my knives to anybody because I just don't want anyone touching my stuff. You also don't use your knives, so. <laughs> I don't, I don't use, I don't use any of my knives, but I don't think I've even gotten to the part of the video where I showed it off. This is the laid back jack. This is the V2. So Ben already did a release of these. I think they were all carbon fiber. The difference is that these are coming with natural materials like the rosewood. I believe there is like a plain TI. There is one with like a PVD coated blade that has this really cool like purple, I don't know, like acrylic thing to it. I'll make sure to post all the photos on those, but it's really cool just to see him not only changing up designs, but offering different materials to these already incredible slip joints. So I'll give you guys a little bit more on the specs right after we're done eating our cold chicken. So let's talk about some specs on the new laid back jack. So with this model, rosewood inlays, like we've talked about before, you got a 6.4 inch overall length, 2.4 inch blade, an S90V, that nice sheep's foot. Um, I'm a fan of a swayback. I think it just feels nice in the hands. I'm a fan of like the little curvature on here, just a little pizzazz on a traditional style um, with a modern take on it. So I'm a big fan of that. Something else to note is the packaging has changed. I believe there is a new artist now on the squad. Laid back Jack, you have them hanging out on the beach. And with some new packaging, you also get a couple of new things on the inside. So you still get your microfiber cloth, but now you get two stickers because I'm assuming one is to keep in the packaging and the other one is to put on all of your stuff. And lastly, you get your POG, which is really cool. The wording has changed as well. So that's awesome. I'm a big fan of Jackal's packaging as always, but it's cool to see little changes. And then you get your leather slip as well. So. Again, you're paying a premium price. I believe the Layback Jack is $299. So it is a premium price, but you're getting a whole lot of goodies within each bag. It's a whole experience, and I'm a fan of that. Taylor has one of these too, but I think he left his in the box. I think he said something about not liking it. No, I actually have a good reason for leaving it in the box. I want to show the experience of a Jack Wolf, like opening one for the first time while we shoot the video. But you have a gunslinger that you already opened. Yeah, he sent three knives, so I can open one of them. Swayback's like my least favorite pattern. You hear that, Ben? Just don't send, don't send Taylor anything anymore, Ben. He just disrespected us. And by us, I mean you. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> these are cool. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying one. It might be my favorite um, Jack Wolf knife, just because of the rosewood. I hope that we get to see more models with that. Yeah. Um, like a midnight jack, Ben. Big midnight bro jack. jack with the wood. Mm. Big bro jack with the wood. Mmm, as Taylor said. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, so I'm also thinking of asking some of my other friends why they carry slip joints. So maybe we should hop on a call with Brandon, everyday minimalist, and my boy Ron Quack. Hey Ricky, it's your boy Brandon, everyday minimalist, and I'd love to answer your question, why do I carry a slip joint? I basically carry these things if I'm trying to go out to dinner. I treat it more as a gentleman's pocket knife, if anything. They're a lot more or less threatening in that sense. And my favorite one currently is the Notorious EDC Kingpin. This one right here is dressed up with micarta and titanium bolsters, along with a workman bead and... I think this is a Timascus speed from Tactile Turn. It makes an amazing noise and I just absolutely adore this knife. Hopefully that kind of helps out with your question. Have a good one, dude. Peace. What's up, Ricky? It's your boy, Ron. Uh, so slip joints. Um, I only really got into slip joints this year. I was gifted this little guy by our mutual friend, Brandon, everyday minimalist for my birthday. But uh, I really enjoy slip joints because you really have to be intentional with the knife. It's not a flipper. It's not an automatic knife that comes out super easily. So you really have to slow down to open the knife. And by extension, you get to really enjoy the knife, you know, open it up to that midpoint, enjoy the walk and talk of the slip joint. And uh, my go-to is this little guy. This is the, here, I gotta I'll open it up. So you need two hands for this. So this is the Notorious EDC Kingpin. Really sleek looking guy. And just listen to that thing. Woo. But uh, yeah, that's what I enjoy about slip joints. And this is my go-to. All right, guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little different, right? Switching it up, doing maybe a little bit more vlog on the iPhone, not so serious. Um, but still showing off some incredible gear. That laid back jack goes live today at 2 p.m. Eastern at your favorite retailers. You can pick one up at Blade Capone, which is my go-to man when it comes to my knife purchases. Go show him some love. I'll make sure to have his link down below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this style of content. Do we wanna go back to the studio? Do we wanna do a combination of both? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Everything that you guys say always gets taken into consideration. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next video.